knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. Most people are vaguely aware of the ancient language that we refer to as Latin. This was the language of the Roman Empire, used for both writing and speaking among both officials and citizens. These days, apart from being the official language of Vatican City, a tiny sovereign state located entirely within Rome where the Pope lives, Latin is considered a dead language. But all of the Romance languages were born from Latin, those being Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Romanian, and many other more obscure ones. So in a sense, Latin is not really dead, it has simply transformed. For this reason, there are tremendous benefits to learning Latin. Let me tell you about a few of them. First, your vocabulary. If you are interested in expanding your vocabulary, Latin can help with that. 60% of the words in the English language are derived from Latin, and 90% of all English words with three or more syllables are derived from ancient languages like Latin. So this is a great way to enrich your communication abilities. Second, are you interested in learning other, more modern foreign languages? Learning Latin is an excellent shortcut, especially for the Romance languages, because all of them have a very similar grammatical structure that is derived from Latin, so learning Latin will make it possible to learn all of these other languages more easily. In fact, if you can manage to learn Latin grammar, learning the grammar of these or almost any other language will feel like a breeze. Third, if you don't want to learn other languages but would like to improve your English grammar, Latin can help with that. English grammar is often abstract and unpredictable, but Latin grammar, which is better organized and structured, will give you a complete understanding of constructions, making everything simpler and more predictable in a way that is almost mathematical. It will allow you to understand English grammar effortlessly. Fourth, we've all heard about the benefit when it comes to standardized test scores. It's true, when it comes to the verbal and writing portions of these exams, you will likely see a dramatic improvement after studying the structure and vocabulary of the Latin language. Fifth, are you a fan of classical literature? When you become proficient in Latin, you will be able to read the classics without relying on inaccurate translations. Imagine the pleasure of examining works of influential literature or philosophy in their original language. Nothing at all will be lost in translation. Sixth, think about your enhanced access to science, medicine, law, and logic. Latin provides an enormous proportion of the root words for the modern sciences. It is true that many of these scientific terms come from Greek as well, but it remains the case that an incredible amount of them are derived from Latin. You have probably heard of fungi, algae, bacteria, virus. These are all Latin words. Finally, think of the mental challenge. Latin is systematic and precise. It demands intellectual discipline just the same way that math does. And just like math, Latin is cumulative, requiring a total command of existing understanding as you increase your knowledge. Learning Latin will make you smarter and more precise in everything you do, and it will make you a better student in every discipline. But if you're still not convinced, just look at these common phrases and abbreviations that would suddenly be so easy to remember if you were to know Latin. You may recognize many of them already. Carpe diem. Nota bene. Post scriptum. Alea iacta est. Veni vidi wiki. E pluribus unum. Casus belli. Sub poena. Caveat emptor. Ipso facto. Ipse dixit. Bona fide. Cave canem. In medias res. Non sequitur, ab initio, semper fidelis, post bellum, 
So after all that, if you're not interested in learning Latin, best of luck in your future endeavors. But if this wonderful world of ancient grammar and vocabulary intrigues you, then let's move forward and learn some Latin. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.